Hello there friends, and today I want to show you another new feature added by JustBurner who's really been knocking it out of the park recently with these new features. And this one makes it easy to fill those little gaps that we all get when filling our drawings in OpenTunes. And do stay tuned to the end where I'll tell you how to get this feature. So let's start again so I can show you how this feature works. So first, let me delete everything I've got on screen here. And then I'll just scribble some lines. And the lines need to be pretty close together to show it off properly. So if I fill with the bucket tool, and just pick a colour here and zoom in a little, and start filling some of these spaces here. You'll see one or two gaps left at the edges of the filled areas. If you zoom in, you can see exactly where they are in the corners of the areas here. And the reason you get these gaps is when you draw with a standard brush, you get anti-aliasing. And that uses different tones of pixels to make the line look smoother. But that also means it makes it difficult to fill in those areas. And in some cases, you can avoid needing to use this new feature by just increasing the minimum fill depth of the bucket fill tool. And this means the fill will reach more of the anti-aliased areas. So simply increase the lower slider for the fill depth. And now when you fill, the colour goes further into those corners of the area. So for this blue one here, if I clear that first and then increase the fill depth up to the top and fill again, it'll fill further into that corner. So if you're using vector or tune raster levels and you find you've still got gaps in your fills, reach for the new pick and freehand tool type on the fill tool. And then you can simply click on the colour that you want to fill with, draw around the area that you want to fill, and it can be filled. And you don't have to change palette entries in between using different colours. This tool picks the palette entry from the area that you first click on. So I can click here on the blue, draw freehand around the gaps, and it fills in blue. Followed by immediately doing the same with red and with green. You don't have to use this to fill just one gap at a time. You can draw a freehand area around multiple gaps at once to fill them in, or even click and drag around multiple areas that aren't even filled in yet, and they'll be filled in. And the standard pick and freehand option fills with the colour of the area that you first click on, but you don't have to use just areas. If you want to fill with a line colour, hold the control key on your keyboard, and then click and drag on the line, and then draw the freehand around the areas and it'll fill with the line colour. And that's it. Just work through your drawing and click and drag around each of the gaps. Simple. So how do you get this feature now? Well, this is available now in the latest nightly build. So just download that and install it to get it. But before you do install it, don't forget to rename your OpenTunes stuff folder first and then after installing, copy your projects back into the new stuff folder. And this will give you a full, clean install. So I hope that you found that useful. And if so, you'll find more tips for colouring that will really help in these two videos. And that's a guarantee.